What's up guys, Vince here, and today I'm gonna to be going over all the stuff that I have in my gym bag. Um, I know we're mid-quarantine season right now, so you guys are all probably online spending your money um, and probably wanna update some, or upgrade some of the equipment that you have in your bag. Um, so I'm gonna go going over the stuff I have that I use for my training sessions. Um, I guess to start off, I have right here, my Herschel bags is where all this stuff goes into. Um, you guys can use any bag you want, whether it's a Nike one or an Under Armour one, it's up to you. Um, I guess to start with all with the equipment that I actually have in my bag, I have my my knee sleeves right here. They're by SBD. Uh, they're about ninety dollars. Keep me they keep me safe during my leg days. Keep my my knees nice nice and strong when I'm squatting really heavy. Um, next, right here, I have my SBD wrist wraps. Um, they're really stiff. They're really durable. They re they keep my my wrists safe when I'm benching, and I also use them on, on my squats as well. Um, so those are nice. And then my belt. So this is probably one of the, the, the more pricier things that I, ha that I have in my bag. Um, this right here is about $230, $250, depending on where you look. Um, it's, again, by SBD, and it's 13 millimeters. Really keeps me and helps me with my bracing when I'm squatting. Also, actually, when I'm benching and I'm, when I'm deadlifting. Um, it's a really, really nice belt. If you guys don't have, like, uh, if you guys don't have that type of money for to, to drop on that type of belt, maybe you could try for an Inzer or a Rogue. I'm pretty sure they have 13 millimeter belt options for you to look at as well. Um, next, and my deadlift slippers, they're by A7. Um, so with my deadlift slippers, I try to go for kind of like a sock only type feel, trying to imagine that I have something, just my socks on while I deadlift. And uh, these just are perfect. So these range about maybe 30, $35. Um, and they're just that you have one strap keeps my keeps me nice and nice and floored during deadlift. <laughs> Next, I have my Sabo squat shoes. Um, they're actually considered deadlift shoes, as you can see. They have it says deadlift in the front. Um, but big thing about this is that it just have has that nice flat sole on the bottom, so I can have that balance when I squat. Um, these are about ninety to one hundred and ten dollars. Pretty sure on Amazon. If you guys look. Um, they're really nice and yeah. And then onto the basic stuff that I typically have in my bag. I mean, I have my Tiger Balm right here for any pains, joints, muscles. I rub that onto there. Then I have my AirPods so I can listen to music. Um, my AirPods probably about $120, $130 depending on where you look. Um, and then my Utopia right here by DeNovo. Um, this is $40 right here. You can find this on Amazon and on their website. Uh, this actually has no beta alanine in it, in it and it has less caffeine. So if you guys are not really too big on that like tingly feel with the beta alanine, or if you guys just want some less, if you guys want less caffeine in your system, then you guys can go with this. It really helps. Um, some more stuff, Gatorade, so I can have like my, my carbs in there. This has zero carbs in it, but I usually have one with carbs in it. Um, and then I have my filters so I can pour my pre-workout into like my water bottle because I do have water as well. Um, I use that. And then I have a towel because if some of you guys know me, I get sweaty a lot, so I got this with me, and then an extra shirt, so I have something to change into after my workout. So guys, again, to be clear, we are not sponsored by any of the products or any of the brands on the table right here. Um, and if you guys have any questions about it, feel free to hit the comments. Every, every item is gonna be in the description below, linked, um, so you guys can see the price and some more details and specifics on each though. Cool. I also have some other stuff that I keep with me in my gym bag. Um, real quick, I got my gauntlet. So if I want to snap people out of existence, if people are getting too annoying at the gym, I have this with me. Um, it makes noises. You can just and snap whenever you want people to leave. Um, so I have that right there. Next, I have my karaoke mic. So um, I'm a part-time singer and uh, I like to, <laughs> you know, sing my songs um, <laughs> that I have on the road. So I bring this with me, so if everybody wants to hear my voice, just hit me up, I have this in my bag. Uh, yeah. Next, I have my baseball. Um, I actually pitched in high school, so if anybody likes to, you know, play catch or anything like that, um, feel free to bring your glove and I could throw you a fastball or two. Um, next, I have my Verizon flip phone. Uh, this is actually used for all the business that I make like through the country, sometimes inter international. Um, actually getting a call from Elon Musk right now. 
Oh, why is your factory still open? Oh, you're just going against state laws or guidelines? Ah, all right, whatever. You do what you do, Elon. All right, see you at dinner later. Cool. Next, and last but not least, I have my training partner. His name's Trek. Um, he actually squats a lot more than me, so he really motivates me. Um, and yeah, sometimes his donkey comes around and he says hello. But Trek's a great guy. That's, uh, that's, those are all the extra things that I have in my bag. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time.